Hello YouTubers, welcome in. This is game number two with Germany in our One More Marathon Marathon. I took basically like a month long break uh, and didn't feel like finishing the other one. So that half a game is going to exist uh, forever and I don't plan on finishing it. Sorry for, to you completionists out there. This is our new Germany spawn, single continent. Single continent, so not not maybe the craziest start in the world. And we're sort of debating uh, on where the best settle is. Uh, there's certainly arguments to settle in place. There's an argument to move up here and have this as our opening tile. Uh, moving away from these, from like this rice tile specifically, is not ideal. Uh, but I'm thinking that the move is down here, so that we can start with this one three one tile and then maybe have a shot at the settler pantheon. It's pretty unlikely. Um, but it gives us a shot and and I think that'll be good enough. It looks like a very productive capital. This is Highlands uh, We do have several bodies of water near us. So that's maybe not ideal um, This is probably horses Wouldn't mind well, whatever I, I I'm not exactly sure I'm not I, I shouldn't think about districts quite quite so soon Let's move the warrior first see if we get any information that changes our mind uh, No So we go here and we'll turn to settle Now we settle. Yeah, I don't like these lakes, but I think this is just kind of how Highlands works. Uh, we set, we move here. We move to a Plains Hill, so we get a 2-2 base with a 1-3-1 one, one tile. Uh, so 15 turns on growth, which is very, very long, but 5 turns scouts. We could even get 3 of them out if we wanted to. Uh, and then the choice here is move here or here. Uh, if we move here, we can see across the lake. If we move here, we're on uh, elevated land and maybe can see more as a result. I generally like to move on to hills. And so that's what I'll do here. Now, the question is, the question is, um, what do we start with tech-wise? How do you make an educated guess on what could be horses or iron besides if the tile is hills or flatland? That's pretty much it. Not to mention we're playing better balanced starts. Um, although I didn't, I didn't put, I didn't put strategics as guaranteed. So this isn't necessarily a horse tile, um, but often you'll have a horse tile near, near your cap. And so it's just kind of a guess. It's just kind of a guess because it's flat. Like, and then if you're guessing for iron, we could have just settled iron. There could have been iron here or here just because they're empty hills. Um, you have to have iron on hills and you can't have any other resources there. So, um, where do we go first? Do I want to find the horses? Oh yeah, you can't. Yeah, that's true. You, there, there can't be iron here because you can't spawn on the strategic. Good, good call, PBS. So here or here could be iron or here. Um, hmm, hmm. Yeah, I was thinking early plantations as well. We have tobacco. We have uh, potentially double banana. We'd have to buy up to this or even buy out to this. Which means I think I think the Eureka for it is pretty slow. I think I might just start with Animal Husbandry and see what we get out of this. Krusty Jim Socks, thank you for the 10 months, my friend. Welcome on back. It's good to have you here. Um, we could do Commercial Hub, Hansa. It's not amazing. It's not amazing. Uh, the other argument is to go to, towards bronze working and either find the iron or, or give ourselves the option of starting to chop some of these jungle. We're very, we're very set in the rainforest here. Uh, so, so getting, getting the ability to clear that could be quite good for us early on here. Um, but I think I'm going to go for animal husbandry. It also gives us the, uh, the out to go, go towards archers. Uh, especially if we find like an early city state that we want to take over. Which is certainly doable as Germany. Harder on a Highlands map, just because moving around is very, very difficult. Okay, some weird coastal land. Not super into that. Plantation Pantheon is almost certain because AI never picks it. Yeah, they, they very rarely do. Now, the bigger the map goes and the more AIs that are in your game, the, the, the more likely it is that, you know, there could be that. They could take it just because limited options. Not going to bother going out here. We'll just kind of explore the coast. Yeah, I agree. I agree, PB. That's kind of why I'm going for horses too. Like getting that 3-2 tile. Getting any 3 food tile at the moment would be quite good. And the good news is we'll probably expand to this first. Uh, which maybe makes another argument for the uh, plantations. But the Eureka is so far away.
I'm going to continue on the coast. It's like a pretty fine city here, maybe. With a harbor. Not that we really want harbors as Germany, but... Got to play to your land at least a little bit. So we can double move into the rainforest or go onto the hill and maybe double move next turn. Certainly going for another scout. Is there is there an argument to go for anything but a scout here? The builder would only really have one tile to improve, so I don't think we'd ever go for builder. Getting an early monument is kind of interesting, but uh, per usual, I think the upside of the scout outweighs most of the other things. And I'm going to go, yeah, I'm going to go, I'm going to try to open up the, the potential double move next turn. Probably, uh, probably not, but I've seen scout monument. Yeah, I, that, that's what I was debating was a monument there. And I didn't think it was quite worth it. A bit of a problem with with Germany or with Highlands in general is that there there tend to not be a lot of rivers, uh, so our commercial hubs will be a little bit worse. Uh, but it doesn't matter; you'll still just get them and use them to boost the industrial zones. I think we we don't care about the coast here as much. Yeah, opened up a double move. There's more plantations we have. So on our continent, so far we have uh, we have truffles, we have tobacco, and we have cotton. So Plantation Pantheon, not a terrible choice. Yeah, big, big, big true on Highlands, getting that first scout promotion is pretty huge. So double scout, like just, just to get one of them a pro promo makes a lot of sense. This is interesting. Because you there is a double move here. Like both of these are flat tiles, right? Because it's showing me a double move. There's, there's, and, and, and I don't think I'm, I, I run into a problem here with uh, not being able to finish our movement. So double, it would be double here. Uh, yeah, Flapjack. You know what? Let me pause. I'm going to pause the recording. I'm going to, I'm going to grab the, the zero, uh, the turn zero save before we move past it. Uh, and that way I can save it for the discord. So YouTubers, hold on just a second. We'll be right back. Hello, YouTube. All right, so we talked about this uh, this move, uh, you know, as as we do here, uh, and and there's a very there's a very compelling argument to like get onto a hill and then and have your have 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 your second you know land here and have like a double move, but I don't think this hill reveals enough that matters, and so I think I think just straight down is the best move for our scout, and it pays off because we find ourselves some Matterhorn, uh, and that's huge. Because we can get the uh, not only the scout movement, uh, but some XP too. So like we're well on our way to a super scout here. Uh, and frankly, our next scout is going to come down this way anyways. And probably go around this side of it. Such a huge wonder to have on Highlands just in general. Uh, so that is pretty pogorific as the kiddos say. I'm going to double move our warrior because it's just better. So some coast... Interesting. Hey, Brave Dog, thank you. It's so good to be back. Very, very good. So whatever about those promos, absolutely. Yeah, that is very true. So I won't have the Scout XP, and it's certainly not wait worth delaying this. Let me ask leave then. So we'll take Matterhorn. We find Hermetic Order, which may be our choice. We shall see. Uh, and then most importantly, we walk away with the Alpine training. Three combat strength to fighting on hills and no movement penalty for uh, for, for hill terrain. Uh, and we've got 10 out of our 15 XP. So this scout probably comes down here, picks picks it up, uh, picks up the bonus there, and then goes west versus this is going to come back east and probably have a super easy time exploring all of this land, which is awesome. Did I know Matterhorn doesn't apply to war cards? Found that out in your last game. Oh, that is interesting. I did not know that. Hey, look. So we did we did expand here, as I thought. And then if this is next, I'm actually pretty happy. And I might even be pretty happy to buy this as a, as a nice food tile for us. Got lots of production uh, available. And uh, getting a four food tile going, not to mention the oh, uh, hi, plantation, Eureka. Funny seeing you Seems here, good. dude. 
Tasty Matterhorn Start. Cheese. <laughs> Yo, Stinky you bring light in. TGM Tilegasm TGM Hype TGM Love. <laughs> Thank you for the 33 months and welcome on back. Very, very good to have you. Um, do we go ahead and take a cheaty look at uh, Hermetic Order? Can I switch to the 3 1 and get the scout out next turn? I can, actually. That's a very good call, Flapjack. I, I I probably wouldn't have thought to micro this. Uh, I didn't look and see that we had one turn left on the scout. But this is a this is a pretty pro, pro play. Uh, in that like the the production overflow is certainly worth something, and so is the faith for our pantheon. But like three versus seven turns on growth is pretty big. And no matter and, and then basically in three turns we add this back in. I think it's I think it's better. Is it better? Because we delay our Pantheon for three turns. I don't think it's I don't think it's worth it. I think if we want a shot, we already have a turn two settle. If we want a shot at the Settler Pantheon, I think we keep working this. That's, that, that's well worth considering. Uh, and I think there's certainly an argument for this. But I'm going to stick with this. And may, maybe even get a third scout down, down and get Matterhorn and then we just go. All right. I think we peak. I, I think we do peak at... Um, Hermetic order here, so I may not keep it. This is this is I I I I very rarely reload. I very rarely save scum, but hermetic order makes me do that, and so I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna do it. Let's look. One. It could be way better. Obviously, we don't have all that much explored at the moment. And this is solid. It is in a good spot, but it's only one. So I think I think we'll pause, we'll reload this turn, uh, and then we'll go from there. We're gonna have to re I, I didn't make a quick save, did I? All right. One more pause, YouTube. We'll see you in a second. All right, we're back. We have our governor title. Do we want to do something with it? Is the question. I'm gonna go here. It's a hill, gives us some more vision, and then we can double move back and then start to circle back for barbs and things. Um, and then I don't want to micro this. Do we want to pick a Pantheon? Or do we want to pick a Governor, rather? Could just start with Pingala. It's always solid. Super solid to get into Connoisseur very, very early. Um, yeah, lots of chops for Magnus, for sure. For sure. <laughs> old school Civ 6. You know what? Civ 6, old school Civ 6 is great. Vanilla Civ 6 is great. But I, as someone, as a veteran with a lot, a lot of hours in this game, I, I like all the new mood m modes and stuff. This is an interesting Matterhorn uh, mountain range too. Uh, I'm going to hold the governor title, I think, for a moment. And then, yeah, maybe we peek at Hermetic a little bit later. See if we have any better options. Now here's here's a question. Five turns. So it's actually faster for this scout to just duplicate the way that we went. So I should actually send this scout west. Right? Because this is five turns and then west. This is three, and that's four. So it's slightly faster to do it this way. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go that route. Hey. All right, there's Void, we get some money, and we get our promo, because we found the Wonder, and we just got a Goody Hut. So that is huge. So we get free Alpine training, and then we get uh, Ranger. So we have a Super Scout here already. Free movement through woods, and th free movement on hills. It's really, really strong, especially on Highlands. Uh, and then I do think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna circle back with my Warrior, maybe with the intention of sending them down here to Matterhorn. Third scout. Going for a warrior here isn't terrible. Because the warrior can come down and get this Matterhorn. And like two warriors with Matterhorn could honestly maybe take out a city-state for us. If we get an archer to go with it. But no no close city-state. So I... I eh. Eh. What am I tempted to get here? Kind of want a monument, but I kind of want a warrior. I 
I think with Matterhorn, I'm going to make a weird play and go Warrior. I almost never do this. It times out perfectly with our growth. So we can go right into a Settler. So we'll be a little bit delayed on our Monument. Um, But I think this is okay. Nah, I don't want a Slinger. I don't think it's strong enough. Sl Slinger generally early on I want on defense so that I can sit in my, my uh, capital and uh, shoot things. Yeah, the mon the the monument's tempting, but I'm gonna go for a warrior. It's it's the weirder play, uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and make it. Yeah, exactly. Like settle settle this with our next settler, and we make up for the monument. Is exactly true. So indeed, we do have horses here, uh, which which gives us a couple nice growth tiles. Um, don't think I'm ready to work them quite yet. Uh, there are more horses down here. And yeah, this Matterhorn settle looks pretty solid. So because I don't have the, uh, the the ranger promotion here quite yet, I don't really want to move there. I'd rather I'd rather take double move on top of hills, and then end our turn by grabbing uh, ranger, because we already have alpine effectively. I might loop around and see what's south of Matterhorn, but for now I think we're happy with this. I was a little afraid of that. So a little awkward on the movement. I was hoping to be able to skirt through here, uh, but that did not happen. All right, where to now? Planta getting our plantations online makes a lot of sense to me. It'll also give us something for our builder to do. So going in towards uh, pottery, I think is my play. Still not sure about our first governor title, so we'll just hold it. And this this is where this is where you start to really see it pay off. So we moved on here onto a hill, and I can double move all the way over here onto a hill and a woods, no problem. Some argument to go south, but I'm just gonna take the uh, the more difficult movement when I want it. I do see the river and I do want to scout it, but I assume we're gonna scout all this anyways. And it looks like we're actually at the bottom of the map. Oh. I did not notice this before. This, because I didn't notice this before, this this isn't necessarily a city state. This could be somebody else. I'm usually pretty keen in ter in terms of identifying those spots, but I might not have clicked it. I might not have clicked it. We'll see. And I can I can get away with this move and then this move. All right, and then we grab this. There's our alpine training, and then we're off and cruising. Um, which way to go here? Probably just down to this, maybe. Hammurabi, thank you for the 20 months. Ooh, okay, coast. All right, so let's do that. Ooh, ooh, very nice. Thank you very, very much for the 20 months. Welcome on back to the shop. It's very good to have you here. Uh, yeah, so this is a first meet. That's great. More gold per turn. Obviously, them being over here on the coast doesn't really bother us from a land perspective. Uh, and then do we want to double back and try to grab all this, or do we send, like, a third scout this way? Yeah, that's what I was thinking, too, is they, they want the trade route. I, I wonder if we should actually go explore this, maybe find a goody hut. Long term, I think it's kind of awkward. That's the other thing we could do is just throw Amani there and grab the, uh, vision for free. I do love early Amani. Probably more than most people. I think it's good though. I actually think it's very good. Because then we can go down here and loop around. Ho 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 ho! City states first meet as well. Come on now. Here we avoid the uh, forest because we don't have ranger here quite yet.
We'll do this. I mean, it's Highland, so it's all it's it it everybody's. It's like more Pangea y than having a continent, but yeah, we certainly look. It looks like we have a lot of space, which is really really exciting. Yeah, I was complaining about no city states, and then we found a couple. I, I guess I was complaining about no super nearby city states to to utilize Germany's extra combat strength. You can absolutely take over a city state early with Ho Holy Roman Emperor, even on deity. You've got to be you've got to be really you know specific and deliberate about it, but you can do it. What's this? Spearman. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. We will come down and grab our Matterhorn promotion and then go north. Ah, uh, sure. Come explore this a bit. Um... Not a huge difference here, but I think opening up this double move makes sense. This is why you're addicted to Highlands. So far, so good, PB. No doubt about that. No doubt about that. We haven't even thought about districts yet. Alright. Move right into a settler. We're working this and this. Um, I'm Tempted to buy a builder here. It's 10 turns away. Could be a little faster depending on how things go. A little awkward now. So I'm not I'm not sold on this being connected. It very well could be, because it's just highlands, right? It's it's not necessarily like a landlocked situation. But maybe, maybe I'll send this scout to Fogbus this way, and then we can just send you east. I think that makes some sense. And more rivers. Definitely want to explore this river system. This is pretty great. River here, river here, and then river up to here. So we'll have to have some awkward, non, like, super nice river commercial hubby sort of stuffs. But, uh... We'll see if we can get by this. I can just get a warrior. We'll take some damage, but then I, I think I, I can move out and maybe kill the uh, slinger. We'll see. That is best. Like this. Probably won't chase us. Seems good. Okay. Foreign trade. Not boosted. That's a lot of land revealed for no foreign trade. But this scout has some foreign trade potential. I think I like that. Probably won't chase us. You know, that's what they said about the T-Rex in Jurassic Park 2. <laughs> I made a I made an amazing Jurassic Park reference in my D and D game on Tuesday, and nobody laughed, and it made me very sad. And I called them out on it, and they were like, "Well, we're committed to our character," and I was like, "Fine, I wrote it. Fine." Uh, yeah. Let's go ahead and work God King and try to get that settler as we as as we were thinking. No, I still think I want God King. Like the production is certainly nice, right? But like. We're, we've been working Faith from almost the beginning of the game and just making it so that in like four four or five turns we have our Pantheon. Even if it's not what we want, I think I think it gives us the highest option to get the Settler. And the Settler would be huge because we have Matterhorn to settle. <laughs> Thank you, Carl. So weird as that may seem, I, I still want God King. Yeah, no, no, no chase, no chase. So we just take a little XP, which is fine. There's our governor. Grabbed a couple nice tiles. Eh, 
Not that nice. Doesn't matter. And they are working on the... Oh, we can, we can get a horseman. It's a barbarian horseman, so it's weak. But a horseman grabbing... Even a barbarian horseman grabbing this Matterhorn buff... It's kind of interesting. Throw Mani up here. Yeah, we probably will in a second. Hey, perfectly average guy. Yeah, it do it doesn't seem like a terrible hour owls game given the the amount of coast we have, which is kind of surprising. Um, don't think I'm gonna do it. I think I'm still in the market for buying a builder here, because we still need to get our monument built, etc. Yuma, thank you so much for the six months. Welcome on back. It's very good to have you here. Uh, I think we move Greetings Amani. from Germany. We'll just take the vision. Guten Tag, my friend. Yeah, the scout has Alpine. Didn't it? Or did it not? Oh, I, I moved away too fast. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. All right. I got I to gotta double back. That's my bad. Super my bad, actually. And then sugar. Plantation Pantheon not looking bad, honestly, if, if, as a fallback. Retry Hermetic Order. Uh, I don't have the Governor promo for it, so probably when we unlock the Governor profo promo for it, we'll relook at Hermetic. Just because I'm looking at opportunities. Uh, I want opportunities to take Hermetic. Hello, Sovereign. How you doing? So we do this. We lose our Suzerain here. That's fine. And we're going to get some vision up there, which would be very nice. And I moved away this scout too early because I'm a dum-dum. And all is well. All is well. I always felt like the plus cu plus one culture is such a tiny bonus. It depends on your continent. So the way the way that uh, that luxuries on continents works are work are that you have four unique luxuries on your continent. And so if three of them are plantations, so for example, we have tobacco, we have cotton, and then we just discovered sugar. So we have three out of the four luxuries on our home continent here are plantation based. The plus one culture actually adds up to quite a bit and saves you from having to build a few theater squares. So like, let's just look at the potential of one. Uh, wait, there's truffles here too. Oh, I guess there are truffles here too. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Like 10 culture is a lot. It's a lot. And it's and it's available quite early, right? And it's a tile that you're already incentivized to improve because plantations will give you housing and extra gold. So it 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 depends on the situation. There are certainly moments where like getting one or two extra culture is not a big deal. But if but if that number is somewhere between 10 and 25, like and it often is, uh it it can be quite good. I'm not saying we're married to that as a choice, but I, I think it certainly has some merit. Four turns on this. Yeah, and all the bananas that I probably didn't count. I didn't do a very thorough count. Um, but it is a decent bonus, as is the pasture one. Just kind of depends. You you do have to spot it. You have to figure it out on the land. Okay, somebody's here, which is good. Uh, what speed is on this? What what speed is this on? Uh, just joined. Also, what does speed affect gameplay or which victory you go for? It does not really affect the victory that we go for. Uh, we're on normal speed, and you can always tell based on the number of total turns in the game. So we're at turn 20 of 500, and 500 is standard speed. So this is Georgia. Yeah, no problem. I love questions here. We are, we are. I, I am a teachable kind of guy. I like to, I like to teach the game. Uh, it's one of my favorite things to do. So your questions are very, very welcome here. Very, very welcome here, Johnny. Thank you so much for the thirty-four months. Welcome on back. Incredibly good to have you here. And Sovereign, thank you for the follow as well. Welcome, welcome, welcome. All right, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta pull my tail through my legs here and uh, double back. 
so we can grab our Matterhorn promo. Seems okay. All right, so Georgia, let's send a delegation. Might as well. Uh, it delays our buying of builders. She's void already, which is interesting. Don't think we want to go void. Also, joke's on her. We turned off all the religious city-states, so uh, GG. This is a very nice, uh, this is a very nice uh, river. And it, it, it's not necessarily too far away. I, I would love to settle Matterhorn, but our first settle could be over here. Settle the stone, maybe? Or settle up here and try to squeeze in two cities? I'm probably going to double back with the scout and, uh, and see what's what. She's got multiple rivers, actually. This river's pretty nice, too. Three turns until our Pantheon. Probably too late for the Settler. She sent us a delegation back. We're far enough apart that maybe we can be friends. I want to go onto this hill. Kind of take our time getting back here. All right. Matterhorn and then move. And then you get Matterhorn too. Yeah, we could be friends until I forward settle her for sure. Now she's got all three of her cities. So don't know where her capital is, but it's not necessarily super close. Like this is this might be a bit of a reach. I don't know. Yeah, I wanna wanna check this out. Even though I'll eventually get there with these. No religion CS to science win? Yeah, probably science, maybe Dom, we'll see. I haven't gone to space a lot yet in the marathon, so. What are the negative numbers? These are these are loyalty indicators. So uh, if you only have vanilla Civ 6, you, you probably won't have this. Uh, but this was a rise and fall mechanic, meaning that like, if we settle this, our, it, your city starts with 100 loyalty, and if it gets to zero, it drops to a free city. And if, if it continues to get pressure, it can just flip to your opponent. Uh, so if I start with 100 and we lose 15 per turn, we lose that city pretty quickly. Uh, so it's a way of like not making it so that you can just completely forward settle your opponent. Although, although the AI still kind of likes to do that to you. All right, so we've got our promos here. Let's go ahead and take advantage of our extra movement. Nice. Another goody hut. And I think this warrior can just come over here and maybe clear this out if they're not going to. <clears throat> 18 months yesterday, 19 today. Hey, that was a fast that, month. That was a very fast month. I appreciate you sticking around for a whole nother month and or day. Thank you, Red Borg. Welcome on back. Good to have you here. Much, much appreciated. Oh, this is going to be so easy now. Can you get out of here? All right, here's our Pantheon. What do we get? What do we get? My man. How is... Okay, so... <laughs> two faith-based Pantheons are gone. Just shows you how good they are uh, and how much the AI prioritizes them, right? Uh... The uh, Desert Folklore is gone, and uh, Sacred Path are both gone. Uh, but the Settler's here! So we got rewarded for for making the choices we did, running God King while we did, and uh, and our turn one move to, to start working Faith per turn. So kind of surprising that multiple Pantheons are gone before the Settler, but who am I to argue? Who am I to argue? Uh, Smeet Kolia, welcome in. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. I don't think there's anything that competes with this, right? I, I, we did a we did a pantheon tier list uh, before I took my break, and I I ranked this as basically the only S tier pantheon, um, and I think I stand by that. I don't think there's anything that we would want specifically in this game that would override it, right? So like, even though I think festivals could be fine, getting that settler and getting down here to Matterhorn and or this river seem really 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 good to me. To all the people saying say, saying working a one food tile delays your first settler. <laughs> yeah. 
We do raise the price of our current settler. That is true, but it's fine. We're still going to take it. It yeah, it it did go up four turns. So, not, not I mean maybe maybe there's an argument there to uh wait four turns. But I think the movement and settling this city four turns faster is is better than the production. So Mont's in the game if 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 folklore is gone, maybe maybe. Yeah, I know the four turn settler seems good, but I, I I I like settling these cities, especially when it could be contentious. I think is better. Population is very interesting, actually. Yeah. Shaves off two more turns there. What do I do? Maybe I just heal. Bring you up. Where's our other? There you are. Um. All right. I want you to go up now. The Tundra is not that interesting to us. And I want to figure out where our Matterhorn cities are going. Either way, this is the first move. We're either going towards Matterhorn or going towards Georgia. It says free settler, but it gives you... So what it is, it gives you a free settler. The, the, the settler you get is indeed free, but it doesn't... Uh, it, it isn't removed from the, the progression of uh, scaling costs. So it still counts as removing a settler, your first settler from the pool, and therefore your second settler is more expensive. So it is technically free, but it doesn't it doesn't uh, avoid raising the cost of your next one, which is why the production went up on that. I don't know what's going on here, unfortunately. All right, and then we get our suzerain up here. So we get some vision. There's a decent Petra city up there. If we can get some campuses, we can get better growth, which seems interesting. I like Petra potential. That's fun. This is less fun. I can have a pretty quick escort, though. Two turns and we can buy a builder. Three leaf? We don't... Uh... Oh, it's from up here. It's from up here. And that's Wind Dragon. This I very much want to turn into a city-state. This is where Barb Mode is quite nice. Awkward. Awkward. Um. So where's the city go? Here. What do you personally do when a city is uh, towards the end of all of its buildings? Like uh, the tiles are filled and basically all the buildings, uh, you're just building districts for fun. Do you just run projects? Yeah, you just run projects. You just run projects. Don't don't build useless districts. I mean, you can if you want. And and most most of the districts have a time and place and like have a use regardless of where you're at in the game. Man, these cities are good too. Um, but mostly mostly towards the end of every single game, you're running some sort of project. So, hey Bonnie, how you doing? Twenty three is my lucky number. Yo. Here's to all the luck and good health to you, GM. Aww. Less than three. Major Big I love you, friend. Thank you so much for the 23 months, and welcome on back to the shop. Hope life is treating you very, very well, as you deserve it. Um. Let's just do this. Let's just do that. I think we're settling Matterhorn. It's era score, and we've already got a decent era score start. 
so we can probably hit a golden. Do the tiles with food and production apply uh, to your main base, or do you have to have a specific workspace there? So, um, you you have population. So, we have three population. So, we wind up working one, two, three tiles like this. And so, we get the yields from these tiles that we're working. But, like, this one up here, we don't, we don't get anything from that until we have enough population to work it. Life is good as your partner's birthday, and you're making homemade pasta for him. I love that. Have a wonderful day with him. I'm sure it'll be fantastic. It sounds just great. All right. Enough with this. Let's keep exploring. We find more Georgian cities there. Okay. I think we're okay here. I'm not super worried. This is a little bit awkward, but we've got to do what we've got to do. I don't want to overtech irrigation. Maybe let's go get mining. All right, where to? This is our Super Scout. Should Super Scout try to make their way all the way up here? Or should Super Scout just look for more Goody Huts? Down here. What is overtech? Uh, what I mean by overteching is we have the potential of getting this irrigation eureka, which which as long as you, which counts for forty percent of the tech, uh, unless you're past the era, in which case it's fifty. Um, and so what I mean by that is I don't want to put too much science into irrigation and then get the eureka and waste it. Um, so that's what I mean. I think I think we're actually coming down to explore the tundra with the super scout. This did get cleared eventually, so I'm kind of glad we didn't hang out there. Okay. Okay. All right, we have enough money for our builder. So let's do that. And they destroyed that, which is fine. And then we did get this. We did expand to this 2 2. And I'd very much like to buy this. Steal the builder, uh, and then we die. No. All right, so we make a 3-2 tile, which is very nice. It helps offset our 1-3s, uh, and we will work on this very shortly. And I might sell some horses so that I can buy this tile and get our plantation Eureka and then get this banana tile online. More rivers? Are you kidding? Okay. So you find her cap. She's got four cities, actually. So she went for a, a fairly fast settler. We took the settler pantheon. Oh, rewarded for going into the tundra. Another city-state down here. I like that. Is 
Is it worth 95 gold for one warrior? Yeah, it probably is from the clans and stuff. But I don't think we need it. Kind of want vision on this city. Kind of don't care. Another first meet. So let's go ahead and continue our Amani World Tour. And we'll take the vision from that. Um, and then I guess we go this way and hope that they fill out a, a reasonable amount of this. Where does this city go becomes the question. And I think I'm going to go ahead and put a pause in the video while I debate and maybe start planning and thinking about some cities. So, hey, you YouTubers, I do appreciate it. Thanks for uh, thanks for your patience while I take some breaks sometimes. And uh, as we're just coming back from that uh, and uh, hopefully you're enjoying the stream. If you are, don't forget to stop by twitch.tv slash the game mechanic and come join us live in person on the Internet. We'll see you then.